So these pieces are one of the stars of the show. A, they're beach. B, they're very dramatic. Um, they're very textural. And again, it's an unusual view of something. One of Ben Wood's most recent projects with Trowbridge, and he's worked very closely with Martin on this, is a series of boat bows that work perfectly uh, in actually many environments because not only are they an actual physical boat bow and you can see it is as such, but they're also an abstract shape. So yeah, I've just got back in from doing my latest boat bow. I got a bit wet. I never really tire of finding the right boat bow. It's, it's very exciting when you get absolutely dead in front and you've got that symmetry and you've got all the texture and the distressing. That's where you spent actually many years trawling around harbours, getting down in the water and taking photographs of the bows of boats, much to the amusement of people who are walking up and down, wondering what on earth is this guy doing? And quite often it's just getting that combination correct. Sometimes if it's too distressed, it doesn't quite work. Equally, if it's too perfect, it doesn't quite work. These boats have become bestsellers, and the beauty of them is that they are they are abstracts. Yes, they are bolt hulls, so you can recognise them as such, but equally they work as, a, as an abstract shape. They have lots of texture to them. So while, yes, you look at them and go, that's a boat bow, they equally have interest because of the shape they are, and they're symmetrical, they're straight on to you, and they're perfect in beach houses, obviously, it's wonderful, but equally they'd work in a Manhattan penthouse. What I've been working on recently is trying to photograph the boats when they're in the water and trying to achieve the reflections because that gives it an extra element. Our best-selling boat bow is really a play on colours because the colour of the boat is a blue and a sort of copper colour and really just by luck, by fluke, the sky and the beach beyond the boat are the same colours. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's a bestseller. But yeah, I think I'll probably continue to photograph boat bows for as long as I'm a photographer. I, I just sort of can't get out of it, really. It's, it's the project that keeps on giving. It fulfills that need to have a large, dramatic, and actually quite simple image in a room. It's texture, it's simplicity, it's beach. It's ultimately very sophisticated. There's something about the symmetry and the texture of it that just appeals. Um, who wouldn't want a boat bow in their drawing room?